A Vietnam veteran tormented by war more than 45 years ago is still on an incredible journey today. He's spending his own time, his own money, to make sure that people remember those who died, especially his fellow comrades. Eyewitness News reporter Stacey Baca joining us tonight to tell us why his mission is so unique. Kathy, Paul Bafico was an Army First Lieutenant serving in Vietnam as a combat communications platoon leader. He was 23 years old, leading men on the battlefield. He witnessed the horrors of war. Now 71, he is on a healing journey. Okay, we're ready to go. Although his years in the military are long over, Paul Bafico is still on a mission. I do it every month. Every month, the Vietnam veteran looks to the future to deal with the past. Two years into retirement, so I was about 55. All my Vietnam experience and nightmares came roaring back in my head. It haunts him, driving him to travel from Lake Bluff through O'Hare Airport to Washington, D.C., and this hallowed ground. Hi there. The Vietnam Veterans Memorial. His quest is similar to that of other vets. His dedication sets him apart. And this is my 139th consecutive month of doing this. And I always stand here in front of the men that I fought with and that I lost. Every month for more than 11 years. He made his first trip to the wall in 1996 with his son, Jeff. It was too painful. And I said, Jeffy, I gotta go. I can't do this. Ten years later, still suffering PTSD, his wife, Max, suggested he return. I know that you don't want to talk to other veterans, so how about if you just talk to the men themselves? Maybe that would work. Men killed under his command, Kenneth B. Luddle and four other soldiers. In 2006, Bafico reluctantly returned a second time and spoke to them. I, of course, started with, I'm so sorry, and I started to tear up. And at that moment, a volunteer, a docent named Leroy, approached him. We were both first lieutenants. We were both platoon leaders. We had both lost five men. What happened there was very powerful. A bond so powerful, an experience so moving, Bafico began to volunteer at the wall every month sharing his story. I was with Tanner and Lucas and Alan when they were killed. So they're forever etched in stone the way they're etched in my memory. An experience he tells fellow vets and visitors. I can't explain why they got killed and I got to live, but I did. And I need to do something with that. So that really is the essence of why I come here. To me, he's a man who is still so tormented in many ways by what happened to him and to other men in that war. And so my heart just goes out to him in hoping that he will find some peace. In some ways, he has. You have to find your own peace. His monthly mission will continue as long as Paul Bafico can make it to the wall to see his men. But if I die in front of panels eight and nine, west eight and nine, I'll be fine. Bafico has had some health problems. He had quadruple bypass surgery, still insisted on making his monthly trip. Obviously, that's a bit difficult for his wife to understand, but Bafico says this monthly mission is really that important to him. So really want to salute not only Paul Bafico, but all veterans, especially on this Veterans Day weekend. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and thanks for sharing Paul's story. Thanks to Paul Bafico, you're right, and all the names that are on that wall and their families as well. Absolutely. Thank you.